This is probably going to be the last video I make for quite a while on the bike. I'm in launch mode and by next Friday, which is about a week from right now, I know where I'm going to be and it won't be here. But by the time you see this video, I'll already be there. Yeah, I know. This is one of those complex ideas that we have to deal with at International Big Shot Studios. By the time you see this video, probably three, maybe four weeks in the future, my future, that'll be your present. I'll already be moved on. So if you don't want to miss any of my fabulous international adventures or any of my big shot hijinks, now's the time to subscribe. According to Google Analytics, only ni or not only 90, 90% 90 of the people that watch this channel are not subscribers to it. And I wonder why. Anyway, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit that magic thousand number. I've been dancing around 650 to 700 for two years now. Morning. I'm trying to get to a thousand. I'm riding along the Heritage Trail between Blakely and Archibald, <clears throat> or Archibald, according to how they spell it here in Pennsylvania. To me, this is the prettiest part of the trail. Of the three parts that I'm familiar with, from Simpson heading north into Uniondale, and then from Carbondale heading south from German to Archibald, I think the part south of Archibald is probably the prettiest. It has more tree cover, it's a well-surfaced trail, and it runs right along the river most of the way. And it's visually interesting. It's not just a straight shot from one end, one little town to the other. On your left. I've been riding a lot of hills lately, and today I just did not have another hill in me. So I thought I would just ride on the trail, have a nice little roll south. Morning. 
a nice roll south and then a little bit 1%, 2% climb on the way back. Although to, to, to call a 2% uh, grade a climb is probably not good. It's not really a climb. But when I got on the bike this morning, my nice little roll south was, I was faced with a 20 kilometer an hour headwind. So I'm pedaling downhill. Now, on, I, on my way back, I'm hoping to have a tailwind. But in Pennsylvania, this usually doesn't work in my favor. Of the three parts of the trail that I've been on, this is definitely the most well-used section that I've seen anyway. There, there are other sections of this trail that I've never been on. I've never been south of Blakely, so I don't know what it's like to the end. I think it's down somewhere in Troop, Pennsylvania, just south of Scranton. does have a tendency to get overgrown in the summertime. Okay, we are now in Archbald. Morning. On your left. Okay, that's the Blakely to Archbald section of the trail. I'm not going to record the section that goes from Archbald to German. I've already made a video about that previously. I'll link that to the uh, in screen or maybe up on top of the screen here. I will have more to say as we get done though. So stick around. The tailwind that I hoped would materialize on the way back did. And I was just curious if everybody knows how you can tell if you have a tailwind when you're riding a bicycle. There are a couple of signs. The first one, of course, is if you have a really powerful wind blowing you from behind, you know that you've got a tailwind. But the other signals are if the tailwind is just a slight one, you could be pedaling along, you can't hear any wind. All you hear is the sound of your tires on the road and you're sweating like a maniac. That's a sign that the wind is moving along with you and that you have a tailwind. So I hope you enjoyed this ride. Oh, one more thing before I go. Gordon Avenue in Carbondale needs to be rebuilt, not patched, rebuilt. It's a mess. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking my face over there on the left. That's it for today. I'll show myself out.